Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to review this LitServe framework which is an inference engine for large language models. You can use LitServe to serve LLMs on your local environment or by using their cloud offerings. We are not going to look at cloud offerings, that is a paid option of course. There is a free studio there too, but we will be focusing on as how it works on your local system. If you go to their GitHub repo, it is mentioned that easily serve AI models lightning fast. I don't agree with this easily serve part. It's quite cumbersome to use. Installation is fairly simple, no problem there. But after you install it, in order to serve the LLMs, it's not easy at all. It is fast, but it's as fast as any other inference engine. Lightning AI, which has produced this LitServe, has come up with some real good tooling in the past. For example, I covered this LitGPT a few months back. If you go to my channel and search with LitGPT around two months ago, this is a fabulous tool to pre-train and fine-tune and deploying the LLMs on your own data. It is quite good, no doubt there. But I'm not really impressed by this LitServe. Um, the tool looks good. The idea behind is really cool, but the cool, uh, but the tool is not easy and serving LLMs shouldn't be that hard as they have made it. Now, I don't understand why they keep saying it on their GitHub repo that it is an easy to use flexible serving engine for AI models because uh, we will see shortly when we install it and then try to run stuff that it is not that easy. The good thing is that it supports features like batching, streaming, and GPU auto-scaling, and that really eliminates the need to rebuild a fast API server per model. And it also provides multi-worker handling, which is quite good. It supports multi-modality. Um, you can do the GPU auto-scaling on it. You can bring your own model, but bringing your own model is a pain in the back, uh, and you will see how uh, that is. Anyway. So, but all in all, a really promising tool, I would say. I wish that they would make running and loading your own models locally easier than it is. Because when we say easy, Olama is easy, LM Studio is easy. They, you can also use both of those tools to serve models on the network or within your own enterprise easily. That is easy. Uh, okay, so that's enough. Let's uh, go and try to get this thing installed. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So this is the terminal which I am going to use where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. Now, let me create a virtual environment to keep everything separate. I'm just calling it let's serve with Python 3.11. Let's wait for it to get created and activated. Okay, so the Conda is created. Let's install all the prerequisites. So I'm installing PyTorch, let's serve and let GPT because you have, if you want to serve the models locally, you would need to have let GPT. Uh, you could also use transformer and that is where things become really murky anyway we'll see later so let's try to install this all of this stuff this is going to take three to four minutes on a new system so let's wait okay, all the prerequisites are done now let me clear the screen now i already have created a file called as server.py so let me open it this is example for from their repo so first up, we are importing the litserv and then they are defining this class which should be in this format, simple lit API. The first function will always run first and once. And this is where you initialize your models. So as a mock exercise, they have provided these lambda, Python lambdas, which create model one and two, which are just doing some arithmetic. And then whatever the request user is passing at the API endpoint is being decoded prediction from the model is being made which is simply some maths and then the response is encoded and then returned to here at the main function now here you see that lit server is running at this 
uh, accelerator with max batch size and all that stuff at port 8000 now um, you can change the port of course so this looks fairly simple where we are putting in model running it so let me run it and then we will access it through our api in order to run it all you need to do is to run this python 3 server.py and then once you run it it is going to start it at the port 8000 on localhost so let it run just open another terminal window something like this and then maybe use a curl command or any other command to access that endpoint at localhost at port 8000 with some input and there you go so output is 80 it has done the arithmetic and given us the response so far so good looks fairly easy but we don't want the lambdas right we want to serve llms and that is what the banner says now let me show you that um, what would be a, a normal way or expected way of doing it one would have thought that okay we will just use a code like hugging face repo we will just give it a repo and it will automatically download the model and serve it that is not the case you have to manually download the model locally maybe by using hugging face cli and all that stuff and then you should be able to use it let me show you um, the model which i already have downloaded by using hugging face cli so if i do go to my um, home and then i go to cache hugging face hub and if i do ls you see that i already have downloaded this metalama 3.1 8 billion instruct on this path so having said that let me create another server file uh, i'm just going to maybe rename this existing server.py to server.py dot original and then i'm also going to do this and then let me create another server file and i will show you the content for downloading the local model and uh, sorry using the local model so this is another server file what i have done here is that i have just imported these libraries then i have just defined that class again and then i am using lit gpt to load this llm i have just given it the local path where the my whole model is and from there i'm just again using decode uh, whatever there is and then i'm serving it on the local host now when you run it it just does weird things for example i'm just going to run it like uh, python 3 server.py sorry i'm just going up to see where it is okay i think i would just need to do the server.py here So it is going to load it. It is going to start uh, it on port 8000. It says, okay, because I am running the other one. Sorry, let me, let me cancel this one here. And then because it is already serving on that uh, path. So maybe I'll just use it here then. So let's wait for it to serve yep so far so good you see that it started at port 8000 but there you go so i have given it the full mo model path but it is it says that missing the files lit underscore model and model config i mean why i need to provide some lit model here when i have my own model um, so that is where there is no uh, indication on the rep or anywhere else that how does this work uh, i think that you might have to integrate your own transformer code your own uh, tokenizer code in the python to get this working which is a big no-no if we have to write our own code in order to manage the models then there are a lot of other options to run the models locally and serve them so anyway i think the idea is still quite good i really like the way the multi gpu setup is and few other tidbits but um, it doesn't offer anything unique in my opinion unlike the other tool lit gpt that was quite good so i hope that you um, enjoyed it let me know what do you think about it and if you are use, already using lit serve please share your experience in the comments very keen to know 
if you are from litserv and want to clarify something which i have missed please feel free we are always here to learn and maybe i'll make another video if there is something which i have missed or if you have improved something if you have some working example then please please share that will be awesome that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching